So we loop through every element, we print each element using the printf function, and we access each array element using the simple array access operator here, the square brackets. If we run this program, it should give us a very predictable result of if you look down here, one, two, three, four, five. So this is the normal way that you would see an array printed to the console. But what if we changed it to this instead? What does that even mean? It's a little bit weird, isn't it? Because now we're saying from a semantic perspective, the array itself is the variable I, which... Well, yeah, my friend, uh, see, it's very bizarre and you can write impossible to read code. Let me show you another example. This viral video is a perfect timing for me as I'm doing strings videos. So what is a string in C? You probably already know that a string at the end of the day is just a pointer, right? So I can very easily stock this string literal inside this pointer. And if I run my code, I get my beautiful string. Now, if this is really just a pointer, the size should be 8 bytes, right? In my system, 64-bit macOS. I'm gonna use the size of operator on this string literal. I run the code and I get 16. Indeed, 16 is the number of charts. Here you can read 15 charts. The backslash zero is appended by the compiler itself, but it's still part of the string. So this is not a pointer. Indeed, strings in C are char arrays. We can do a very simple test. For example, in 10, I assign a string. I get this mistake. I try to initialize an integer with the const char three. So this is an array. You can see here the type of this string literal. Now, given that this string is just a char array, I can do very quirky stuff, like for example, indexing into it. But it's gonna be the result of this, in your opinion. I run the code and I get S. What is going on? Well, very simply, this is an array and the char in position three is the S, is vanilla. Now we can do the same trick of the viral video. This is very weird, but this is gonna work exactly the same. Now I can do also like this, at three plus the actual string literal. Let's try to compile and run this. And I get a warning, basically it's telling me, hey, if you try to add uh, an integer to a string, this is not an append. And see, this is different, but I don't care. Let's run this. And as you can see, I still get S. Well, the thing is that this being an array, it's gonna decay to a pointer to the first char. So indeed, this is gonna be pointer arithmetic. So this pointer plus three is gonna point to this S. After that, I'm gonna dereference with this star operator. Now in this video here, I explained like, at the end of the day, we can consider arrays like pointers because we have this phenomena of array decay. So this is what happens with this weird code. So we see you can do very weird stuff. You can find online uh, websites like this, in which you have a decoder from C gibberish to English. It's amazing, right? And there are actual competitions in which people try to write the craziest C code. If you want to know more about that, you have Lori Wired that made an amazing video about this topic. By the way, I love you, Lori Wired. Probably you will never watch this video, but if so, I just want you to know. <laughs>